So welcome back. We're almost at the end of this course. Thank you for being with me throughout the past videos. I hope you find so much value in this course. And uh, before we start to wrap up everything, let's just have a quick review of what we've learned so far. So uh, you will see here a table and you have there the header. So you have there the frequency of filing, so monthly, quarterly, and annually. And you have their revenue, expenses, and income. This would be the basis of the computations of the uh, taxes for those specified returns. So let's start with monthly filing. You have their 1601C. Uh, so this one is the withholding tax on compensation. So you have to file this 12 times. So monthly from January to December. And uh, you have their 60619E. So this is based on your vendor supplier invoice and this is filed eight times. Remember, this is filed for the first two months of the quarter. Okay, so two times uh, four quarters, that's eight times in a year. And you have their quarterly. So you have 2551Q and the basis here would be the invoice or ORs. Official receipts that you have issued, that is four times in a year. That's quarterly. And you have there's 0601EQ. This is the form that is filed on the third month of the quarter representing the expanded withholding tax. This is filed four times. So in total, still, if you consider 0619E and 1601EQ, that would be 12 forms or 12 filings for withholding taxes expanded. And you have their quarterly income tax returns. So you have their 1701Q for individuals and 1702Q for corporations. And the basis here for, would be the books of accounts and the uh, forms that you have filed for revenues and expenses, so 2551Q and 1601C and 0619E and 0601EQ. So this would be filed, 1701Q and 1702Q would be filed three times. And uh, for annual filing, you have there the form 1604CF and 1604E. So it, uh, the BIR requires you to also submit this uh, returns with the so-called alpha list. So the alpha list is for 1604CF, this would be the alpha list of your employees. So it also, it only is a summary of your, em, the employees that you, you've you uh, withheld during the year and those who are exempt from taxes. So that's 1604CF. So it's an alphabetical list. And this could easily be generated from your payroll. And you have their 1604E. The, uh, you will also have to attach the alpha list of your pays. So if you paid your, um, or withheld um, taxes on rental or on professional fees, you have to include the names of the people that you paid and withheld during the quarter. And you have their income. So this would be the summarized version of your quarterly income tax return, which is uh, 1701A for individuals and 1702RT for regular corporations. So in total, tan -tan -tan, you have 34 forms that you have to file on a regular basis. That is if you have opted to make use of graduated taxes. Now, uh, the, if you still remember the graduated income tax rate for individuals. And this is also applicable for corporations. But if you made use of the 8% option, and this is only applicable for individuals and those who are not VAT registered, the form is reduced by the number of filings for percentage taxes. So you, if you remember, there's only one um, tax rate for both percentage tax and income tax, and that is the 8%. So that's the reason why if you notice under income, there will be no uh, forms because 
the basis for the 8% would be your gross sales and revenues. So you have there for monthly, very similar to your, for your um, taxes related to expenses, very similar to um, the previous slide, which we discussed. And uh, for revenue, however, you have their 1701Q and 1701A. So in the previous slide, it was under income. And in this slide, it's under revenue because 8% is based on your gross revenues. And there is no longer a line or an item for percentage taxes or your 2551Q. By the way, if you're VAT registered, it it would be a different story. And we'll, you could check out the easy reference that we have included in this course so that uh, if you're a VAT registered business, you could um, also see the, the, the difference or you would know how to file your VAT tax returns. All right then, that's it for this quick summary. And in the next video, we'll talk about penalties and surcharges. So what happens if you make a mistake or if you don't file your taxes on time? So see you in the next video.